Um, so hello, uh, I'm Shani Duan from Purdue University. Uh, today I'm gonna present our paper, The Influence of Task Design on cross the Judgment, a case study of recidivism risk evaluation. So um, firstly, uh, we, we, uh, the background is that we find cross-sourcing has become prevalent for collecting judgments from the public. Um, for example, uh, the crowd is asked to evaluate uh, online misinformation and abusive content. And in some on online course uh, platforms, uh, the crowd is also leveraged to uh, grading peer workers' assignments. Uh, a lot of research studies find that task designs can affect the quality of call workers' judgments. So for example, uh, adding, uh, enabling crowd workers to interact with uh, peer workers and also providing reviews or feedbacks from peer workers can improve uh, workers' uh, performance. Uh, however, understanding how various task designs affect the biases in crowd uh, judgments is largely limited, but uh, understanding the biases in cross-sourcing is very important. Um, for, uh, firstly, uh, cross-sourcing is usually used for uh, collecting annotations for machine learning models. Uh, and the biases with annotators will result in biases in machine learning models. And, and secondly, when the crowd judge people, uh, for example, reviewing um, peer uh, crowd workers' work, um, biases will, will result in unfair judgments in the real world. And we observe that when the crowd judge people, the biases can exist from two angles, strictness and the fairness. Um, strictness means crowd workers' tendency to make a favorable uh, judgment on people. And the fairness means whether crowd workers make equal judgments on different groups of people. This observation motivates us to conduct a study to understand how the designs of cross-source the ju judgment tasks affect the quality, strictness, and fairness of judgments. So in our study, we take the recidivism risk uh, assessment ju uh, judgments as a case study to understand how the task designs affect the cross-source uh, cross the task judgments. Um, so firstly, let me introduce the our tasks. So in a task, um, we first uh, will show the participants the a defendant's profile. And after they review the profile, they will make their initial prediction. And after the initial prediction, we're going to show them with uh, our task design interventions. We focus on two large categories of task interventions. Uh, adding interventions to encourage deep, uh, deeper deliberation and also providing uh, different types of feedback. And finally, the participants will uh, make their final prediction. Uh, we are interested in understanding the impacts of task designs on the properties of cross recidivism judgments on a variety of uh, factors. Specifically, we ask we ask the following research questions. Uh, research question one, how do task designs affect the recidivism judgments when the information that crowd workers receive in the tasks does or does not reinforce societal stereotypes in their minds? And research question two, how do task designs affect the recidivism judgments on those cases where crowd workers are particularly vulnerable to their own biases? And research question three, do the influence of task designs on the recidivism judgments vary with crowd workers' own characteristics, such as their cognitive reflection levels? Uh, and But due to time limits, we mainly focus on discussing on um, the first two research questions in this talk. So let me introduce our treatment designs. We have seven different task designs. Participants would be randomly assigned to one of the task design during the experiment. The first is the first treatment is the control group. 
So in each task, participants were asked to review the def uh, defendant's profile and then estimate the uh, risk of uh, being reoffend within two years. And we have three task designs that encourage participants to deliberate deeper. The first deliberation task treatment is competing hypothesis treatment. So in the intervention, uh, the participants were asked to consider the competing hypothesis. For instance, if her initial risk estimation was above uh, 50 percentages, she would be inst instructed to uh, consider whether a risk of uh, below 50 percentages uh, could be possible for this defendant. Uh, the, the, the participants was asked to select the features uh, in the defendant's profile that may support the competing hypothesis. And she had the option of providing more reasons. The second uh, deliberation task design is counterfactual example. In the intervention, we provide the participant with a profile of a fictional defendant who had exactly the same features as the original defendant in the task, except for having the opposite uh, risk. The participant was asked to estimate the recidivism risk for the fictional uh, defendant. And after that, um, the participant would be asked to make the, their final estimation on the original defendant. Um, the third one is uh, rethink treatment. So in the intervention, the participant was asked to spend at least 15 seconds evaluating the defendant's case in more depth. We also have three task designs that provide three different types of feedback. So the first one is feedback treatment. In each task after the participant make their uh, final risk estimation on the defendant. Uh, we're going to show them the feedback on previous workers' judgments on the same defendant. And another one is the machine learning model feedback. So we trained a fair machine learning model. And in each task, after uh, the participant make their initial risk estimation on the defendant, uh, we show them a machine learning the machine learning model's prediction. Uh, the last uh, treatment is the ground truth feedback treatment. So in each task, after making uh, after the part participant make their uh, risk estimation, we're going to present them with the ground truth answer. Uh, after uh, they review the ground truth answer, they will be redirected to the next task. Uh, then we introduce how we evaluate the quality, strictness, and the fairness of the recidivism judgments. We measure the quality by comparing the accuracy of participants' recidivism judgments. A higher accuracy indicates uh, the higher work quality. And we evaluate the, strength, uh, the strictness by comparing the participants' prediction rate of judging defendants uh, will you reoffend within two years. We call it positive prediction rate here. A, a higher positive prediction rate means the workers are stricter with their judgments. We use uh, three metrics um, to evaluate the fairness uh, of the judgments positive prediction rate difference, false positive rate difference, false negative rate uh, difference. All the metrics here are calculated by the participants' metrics on African-American defendants minus that on white defendants. And uh, the smaller, a smaller difference indicates the participants makes a fire judgments. We conducted two experiments on two different data sets. Uh, experiment one is conduct, conducted on a balanced data set where the true reoffending status on uh, African-American defendant and the Caucasian defendant are, the, are balanced. And the second experiment is conducted on an unbalanced data set. Uh, here, the, 
crown worker uh, here, the black defendants were associated with a higher probability of reoffending. So in this experiment, the crown workers' social uh, stereotypes are reinforced during the experiment because they are reviewing more uh, African-American defendants whose profile associated with true reoffending status. Now we present our results. We first evaluate the impact of task design on the quality of the judgment. Um, this figure shows the median of participants' judgments accuracy among seven treatments in uh, experiment one. Uh, although we find that some task designs can slightly increase the participants' work quality, however, the statistical task suggests that task design do not, does not have a clear influence on the quality. Uh, the results are similar in the second experiment. Uh, this figure shows the median of participants' judgments on the positive prediction rate among seven treatments in experiment one. Uh, statistical task, uh, tests suggest that task designs have a significant impact on the strictness of uh, participants' uh, judgments. And uh, the result is consistent in two experiments. And the result shows that uh, showing the historical human subjects recidivism judgments to a co-worker always leads to a, the strictness judgment, while showing the machine learning models prediction tends to result in relative limit judgments. Um, this table summarizes the result of fairness metrics in experiment one. The result shows that task designs do not have a clear influence on the fairness of crowd workers' recidivism judgments. Uh, now we evaluate the result on the tasks that people are more vulnerable to their in-group biases. We identify tasks that historical uh, African-American subjects and Caucasian subjects had different probability of making positive predictions. So it indicates that on this extreme tasks, people could be more vulnerable to their own in group biases. Our analysis of uh, extreme tasks suggests that uh, changing the design of tasks may significantly affect the strictness and the fairness of the crowd recidivism judgments. Uh, lastly, let me summarize the takeaways of our paper. So firstly, uh, small, changes, small changes in task designs could have significant impacts on the strictness and the fairness of cross-source the judgments, especially in the cases where the crowd suffers the most from their own biases. Secondly, requesters should be aware of the possible unintended consequences of task design choices and carefully select and analyze the properties of feedback before presenting them to crowd workers in their tasks. Um, thank you for uh, listening to my presentation and please ask me questions. If... Okay, thank you very much. We have two, three minutes for questions. Okay. Um, before, well, while people are thinking, maybe could you comment how these you think after having done this research that your findings would generalize to other types of tasks? Oh, so, so we, uh, I see. So we actually, uh, so we selected this uh, recidivism risk assessment tasks because uh, we find that uh, in this kind of, because we want to understand the biases on the strictness and the fairness of cross-sourcing uh, cross in cross-sourcing. Um, and this is a typical type of tasks that people um, preserve such kind of uh, in-group biases. 
and um, uh, although we know it's it's uh, so for uh, for the other kind of tasks which have the potential of having uh, in group biases, uh, we assume that our result can be uh, generalized to such kind of tasks. Um, but for the others, we are not sure about whether our result can be generalized or not. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Perhaps uh, that's an interesting topic of research for the future for you or for someone else. 